Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm very excited. First and foremost, because I really haven't sat down and done a video like this. I've been doing a lot of talk over videos where I just film myself doing my makeup, and then later on I record the audio afterwards. So I'm very excited to have a little one-on-one -on -one girl time with you. But also, if you watch my channel, you know I really haven't been buying makeup. Like I've been trying to be a little bit self-conscious about spending my money and being wasteful. A lot of my my makeup has gone bad in the last year and a half so that definitely gave me a reason to go ahead and splurge so as you can tell by the title of this video today I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul I'm gonna be putting on all of the products that I bought during the Sephora VIB sale onto my face giving you guys a first impressions in like five or six weeks I'm gonna sit down with you guys again and give you my very final thoughts the best ways to use each product the worst ways to use each product and whether or not I think that they are worth your money or not so stay tuned for that make sure that you subscribe and click that bell. This way you get a notification every time a new video goes up here on my channel. So without further ado, if you've gone ahead and you've subscribed, then let's go ahead and hop right into the video. This box might not look like a lot because I have to say I really didn't buy too, too many products, but please explain to me how I spent like 300 plus dollars. If you watched my new face video, I showed you guys the microcurrent device that I use on my face. You're supposed to use like a hefty amount of the gel cleanser that the new face comes with. This woman that I went to high school with reached out to me on Instagram and told me that this face mask, the cucumber gel mask by Peter Thomas Roth is a really good conductor for the microcurrent. So obviously I bought this jumbo size. This is five full ounces. I bought this during the sale and figured that maybe it will entice me to use my new face a little bit more because I feel like overall like I'm just a very stingy person like I like to use little amounts of things I don't like to overuse things because I really want them to last and I genuinely think that having just that little tube for my new face kind of hinders me from actually using the new face so I'm very very excited to give this a try a product that I actually took out of the container because I have had a ton of makeup clients lately which is so exciting if you live in the New York New Jersey area the tri-state area and you would like for me to do your makeup check down below in the description I do leave my email address you can just email me I'll give you a quote we can meet up I'll make you feel and look glamorous and just chef's kiss I decided to get the buxom waterproof lash mascara this is just a black mascara it is in my kit I would take it out but whew, my kit is a mess because like I said, I had so many appointments the last two weeks that I really need to just like get in there and clean it out again for like the 15th time. Um, but this was really good. I tried this on two of my clients, the last two clients that I had, and it really does a nice job of separating them, elongating them, and just making them look really wispy and light. Another skincare product that I did buy for my kit is the Tatcha Water Cream. I've talked about this several times. No matter what kind of skin type you are, I just think this is a beautiful pre- makeup moisturizer lays down wonderfully again whether you're dry oily combo anything in between also for my kit i bought the beauty blenders i think it's really great to buy beauty blenders during this for a vib sale because you know 20 bucks for a sponge it pains me to even think that 20 dollars for a sponge is a thing but it's just there's nothing better than a beauty blender i mean you can find comparable sponges but these are just amazing i use them on myself i use them in my kit i don't use the same one that's disgusting i bulk up on these whenever I get the chance. So I bought two of those. Is this boring? Or do you guys like to see what's in my kit? Let me know down below. I've actually been thinking about showing you guys what is in my makeup kit. So again, if you live in my area, if you ever wanted to get your makeup done with me, you can get an idea of what I use to paint people's faces. Or maybe, you know, you're just curious. It's kind of like a whole other makeup collection because it's pretty big and it's pretty, it's like very heavy. I think it weighs like 20 pounds. Um, so if you're interested, let me know down below in the comments. So let's go ahead and just hop into the application this way you guys can get my first impressions so I'm very excited for this I went on the Sephora website I looked into this this got rave reviews I think I saw Andrea Ali here on YouTube use it she's a professional makeup artist based in Paris and I just like loved it and I have to say like the bougie-ness in me just really wanted to try something from Gucci and I saw Andrea use this and I looked at their lipsticks I looked at like their foundations and I was like I really don't need any of this however I'm really running low on my honestly Sassy Beverly Hills Brow Wiz as well as my Joe Precision Brow Pencil. So I thought, why not buy this while it's on sale? I really didn't know which color to get, so I got 03. It's a powder eyebrow pencil. 
Look how cute guys. It comes with a little like pale pink sharpener. It's kind of like light, but it has more weight to it than my other brow pencils. The spoolie is a little large and in charge. And I'm gonna use the sharpener just because I don't know if you can see, but it kind of has a very blunt edge. Oh, and this is going everywhere. Okay, it doesn't have like a catch-all in the back. So you literally have to do it over a trash bin. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill my brows in, but I already feel, oh my God, yeah, this is nice. It's not like catching onto my skin because oh, do you see that? I'm really not even pressing this into my skin and it leaves a really nice powder finish, which is what it says, powder eyebrow pencil. And I love a powder finish. Sometimes you ever notice when you use a brow pencil, it can kind of be a little waxy and it can grip onto your skin strangely. So like in the places where you're sparse or have no hair at all, it can kind of leave like a skid mark. But like I am barely touching my brow and it's just... Oh my God, this is so nice. I'm so glad I bought this. I knew I was gonna love this when I saw Andrea use it in her video. If you are someone that doesn't have a bigger brow, like I naturally have larger brows, I just find that this pencil is a little big and this spoolie is a little large as well. So it might just be a little bit too overwhelming because it's gonna be a little harder to get those smaller hair-like strokes. But if you're someone that has thicker brows and just wants to fill them in one, two, three, like I really, really think that you will like this pencil. I feel like it just fills them in so quick, which is like what I'm all about. I feel like lately I've just been spending like way too much time on my brows. And it's probably my least favorite step like in my makeup routine. Like I get no joy from filling in my brows. Like I do it all the time. Like if there's one thing I rarely ever skip out on in terms of makeup steps, it's filling in my brows just because I really think it makes like all the difference. And it kind of just makes my face as well as anyone else's face a little bit more structured. Oh, I love this. We're starting off on a really high note here. Real high note. Okay, so I kind of went a little liquid cream blush cray cray, okay? Two of the three are from Tower 28. I love any kind of like clear packaging. Oh, it's like sweaty bubbles on the actual pan. Is that okay? And then I got this really deep berry shade. This one doesn't have any bubbles on it. That's weird. I wonder why the other one does. This looks a lot darker in the pan. So I'm gonna apply it to the back of my hand like that. So I'm tapping it on with one finger and then blending it out with another finger. I just feel like this is gonna look like the most natural. It doesn't look that intense in real life, but it's kind of picking up more so on the camera. Mm. That's pretty, but I kind of want to see what it looks like when applied with a brush. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to take the excess off. Oh my. This is going really well. Um... Okay. Excuse me. Okay, that was an epic disaster. I took that off clearly with a makeup remover wipe. They were gonna steer clear of that uh, blush. Okay, listen, nothing against the blush. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's really bothering me, it's bothering me. I don't like that. Um, Tinted bombs sound nice, yes, I really, I can't. My first impression is that I give up. I'm just, I'm giving up. So let's move on to the other liquid blush that I have, which is from Say Do Blush Liquid Cheek Flush in the shade Peachy. This is very nude looking. I thought that this was more pink. I like this doe foot applicator. It's a really pretty peachy shade. Can you guys see that? Tap it into the skin. I like this formulation better. However, I feel like the Tower 28 one that did me dirty from the beginning would look really good with like no kind of makeup on my face. I kind of felt like it wasn't sitting over top of my foundation nicely. It was kind of like a thicker formula. Okay, yeah, this blends out really nice and it's meshing really well with my foundation. And I feel like this is the kind of formula that would look good with any type of foundation because it's so thin. And I don't know if you can see, but it gives a lot of like luminosity. It makes the skin look really dewy. Okay, so first impressions, I definitely like this one better than the Tower 28. Um, however, I do want this to be a little bit more pigmented. So I'm gonna take what's ever left on my brush and oh my God, this might be a really bad idea from the Tower 28 one. And I'm gonna poke it in the back of my cheek. Just like that. This might be a bad idea. Cradle that along the side of my face. Like I really like this color, but I wish it came in the Say Beauty formula. 
like just a little bit thinner. Like I really like that combo though. It's very bright. I picked up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer. I don't know about this shade and I feel like this is the type of concealer that sets really quickly. So I'm gonna put it on one eye and I'm really putting this, oh my God. What y'all? I love how thin this is. I wish it had a little bit more coverage. Yeah, like it really didn't pick up the texture on my chin, which I have a lot because I have such dry skin there. And I might not even really need to set this. Danessa Myrick's Color Fix. This is a matte liquid pigment for lip, cheek, and eyes. Apply using a brush or finger for desired effect. So we're gonna do just that. And I got the shade Exposed. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand just like that. I'm gonna grab that on this brush and I'm going to put it on the lid first and then I'm gonna work it into the crease. Oh yes, yes please, yes please. I love this color. A little goes a very long way with these. I have those hooded eyes so I'm gonna put it a little higher than my actual crease and I'm gonna bring it down underneath the eye. This is a really pretty shade. I just feel like I put too much on, which is okay, it's fine. This is a really sexy color. Like it's like I tried, but I didn't try, but I didn't try, you know, like I'm here. Hi, how are you doing? This does dry down really matte and I love that because for me, like I don't totally hate creasing, but if I can get away without any creasing when it comes to liquid shadows, like I just find that to be better. So this definitely dries down very, very matte. I like that. It's a little bit more dramatic than I wanted to go. Like I'm not mad at that. Like, do I kind of look like a raccoon? Yes. Do I also love it at the same time? Yes. Clean blending brush, right? This is clean. And I'm just gonna see if I know it's kind of dry okay these dry very quickly you need to work quickly with these another thing cream bronzer and kind of just tame down the blush I wasn't gonna put a bronzer on today but I think this look like needs it okay so I don't know what you all think or what this looks like on camera but this looks a hell of a lot better in real life and that just goes to show that if you don't have this product you really need it no this is not new no you cannot get this at Sephora but the Yensa Silk Bronzer is literally a lifesaver. And guys, you saw how like pink my cheeks were. The best tip that I can give you guys is if you're gonna use a cream blush, put that on before a concealer and put that on before any kind of cream bronzer because those two products, if you do go ahead and you go in a little bit too heavy handed, will help to tone back the pigmentation and make that very vibrant blush a little bit more tamed, so. I feel like the cheeks look really good, a lot more natural now, and I'm really, really liking these three colors together. Again, I used Tower 28 in Happy Hour, as well as the Say Beauty in Peachy, and then the Yensa Silk Bronzer, and I feel like it just gives a really nice peachy beige cheek, which, who doesn't like that? For lips, I didn't have anything new because honestly, if I had bought something new for my lips, I would have smacked myself. MAC Strip Down, as well as the drugstore lipstick of everyone's dreams, if you ask me. Maybelline lipstick in the shade Baddest Beige. I did not buy this during the Sephora VIB sale, but I did buy this at Sephora quite a while ago and I really don't feature it a lot here on my channel. So I thought why not just like include this in the haul. But this is the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon. And I believe this is in the shade Earthquake. If you have an eye look and you're not so sure how you feel about it, like I just feel like it's pretty, it's very blown out. I, w I just want a little bit more dimension. I already started to do it on this eye. I don't know if you can see the difference, but I added a little bit of eyeliner on my lash line just from here to the end. And this is just like gonna give a wing effect without the wing commitment. So I'm literally just pushing this into the lashes and I'm gonna bring it on the lower lash line as well, but I'm only gonna keep it in like a little V. And I'm gonna connect it in that corner. Just like that. And it looks a little out of place, but that's why we go ahead and we take our brush. This brush is clean. It's just like stained because 
I used um, pressed pigment shadow and like didn't wash it right away, which is totally my fault because I knew that I should have washed it. Um, and so it's stained. I think that looks so much better. Can you just see how that kind of brings the drama in a very simple, very easy one, two, three step that anyone can do, whether you're a makeup artist or a beginner. I got the travel size, the trial size, because I just find like mascaras are really a hit or miss for me. And if I hate a mascara, like I'm really not gonna pick it up again. So why waste all of that money when I can just waste a little bit of money? Love this packaging. Lancome Lash Idole. Feathery soft lashes, you guys know, love that. Easy removal, love that even more. It's infused with white tea extracts. I don't know what that does. Guys, Tweezer Man makes the best eyelash curlers. I've tried a ton. Um, they're kind of pricey. They're around like 20 bucks. They're just so good. Let's see. Yes, I love this already. And I literally put one coat on. I like this wand. It's really good to like get into the inner lashes because I find like sometimes it's really hard to get those right there. Wow, this like really separates them. Those are like the lashes of my dreams. It's like this tube heard everything that I said about what I love in a mascara and then just like said, bitch, I'm gonna give it to you. Wow, wow, wow. Hell yes. Hell to the yes. Let us come back to this because I just want to show you guys what the under eyes look like because I didn't powder them and they don't look bad, but they don't look amazing. All right, you guys are like all up in it and I lowered the exposure a little bit on my camera so you can see right there. It's definitely sitting in my fine lines, the concealer. This eye, I have a larger line here that it's sitting in and it's kind of sitting in this one right here, which is like a medium line. I wouldn't say it's like really deep it's definitely in the middle but i really like how it's sitting how this concealer is sitting in here like it's really not too textured and it's not gripping onto the little bumpies that i get in there so now that i took it out of my lines i'm gonna go ahead and set it can you see the difference definitely a very luminous concealer by itself that the powder definitely took the luminosity out of it but i think it will hold better like i don't really i don't I'm not loving the lines over here whereas now this looks a little bit more seamless and a lot smoother i love it i love it i fucking love it this is my full face of makeup using all of the sephora vib products that i purchased again stay tuned I will give you guys the ins and outs and everything that you need to know in about five or six weeks. So make sure that you subscribed and click that bell just to do a really quick roundup. First of all, I just gotta say, I'm like really happy with how this turned out. After the blush incident, like I was really skeptical to see whether or not we were gonna turn this bad boy around. We definitely did. I love this. I have to say this eyeshadow is like the perfect color for me. So let's go ahead and just run through the products that I really love first impressions wise, you know, like this might change. Don't hold me to it. As of right now, after using them once, these are the products that I think are the pick of the litter shall I say. I mean, I don't even think I need to say this. The mascara, obvious, loved it, adored it, so, so good. Honestly, these are just like the lashes of my dreams. Beautiful. Vanessa Myricks. This shadow is beautiful. Work quickly if you do decide to buy it, but I am very interested in playing with this more, and I'm excited because I feel like this is definitely a shade and a product that I could just throw on my lids every day. One, two, three, out the door, get on with my life, and feel put together. Say Beauty, loved this blush. Great formulation. Definitely want to purchase some more shades brow pencil really good you know i love this super cute this is definitely my kind of packaging i love how pigmented it is i love how powdery it is i'm into this i mean sometimes i sit here and i love them and then i watch the playback while i'm editing my videos and i don't really love them so in terms of application really great very nice i think if you have smaller brows i would steer clear but i think they look really nice right now it might change when I'm watching the playback of this video. Let me know down below in the comments. What do you think about my brows? And be honest, you know, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. Products that I was iffy about, the concealer, right now I like it, but I am very teeter-totter with concealers. I typically love them upon first application and then I get to know them and I end up despising them. So it doesn't have a ton of coverage. It already kind of like moved into my fine lines even though I powdered it already. Um, so this might not be it for me, but We'll see. And now, you know, I just added another concealer to my collection that I need to work through. Can you see it kind of just like sat into this fine line right here? I don't, I just, ugh. maybe it's me, you know? 
Maybe I just need to get my eyes fixed. I mean, what do I know? I'm not gonna hate on this. I feel like it was definitely my fault that it went on too much. I definitely used way too much. I really love this shade, After Hours. This is just gross. Let me know down below in the comment section, what do we think about this makeup look? Is this something you would wear? Are you interested in any of the products that I used today? Do you own any of them? Do you have a tip? or trick in terms of how to apply them. Let me know down below in the comments. I myself would love to read them. I'm sure other viewers would love to read them as well. Let's just be collaborative in the comments and help each other out because we're all spending money on these goodies. So we should all figure out the best ways to go ahead and use them, myself included. So make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell before you leave. Also be sure to check out the videos if you missed them that I'm going to leave on the screen right here. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.